Hi friends, friends, <laughs> looking at Lily. Welcome back, I am so obsessed with friends. Um, been watching the rerun since we've been on lockdown for so long and I totally love it all over again. So Lily and I got matching t-shirts today. Lily, friends. <laughs> so today we're doing a video. It's gonna be short and sweet because it's a beautiful day in Southern California. Finally, after tremendous rain for summer, and there's Kingston. Uh, we're going bike riding, and then I'm going to work out. So we've got the whole day planned out. So quick video on Japanese pancakes. Super yummy, super delicious. But here is my disclosure on the pancakes. Um, very temperamental. They are supposed to rise and be nice and fluffy. Don't get frustrated if when you make it, they don't get real nice and fluffy. It happens to me all the time, so I'm praying that they come out nice and fluffy for the video today. Um, different reasons. I think the, the, the only thing I can come up with is the change in temperature because when I put it in the pan, they're nice and fluffy, but when I take them out, sometimes they'll, they'll go down a little bit. I believe the change in temperature from the heat and the moisture in the pan to the sudden change when I put it on the plate, it makes it deflate a little bit. So no worries if it doesn't come out as nice and fluffy as you like it. Again, I'm a home cook, I'm not a total professional, but we're gonna go for it and see what happens. So I'm gonna start, we've got three pods, uh, three sections that we're gonna work with one by one. Sounds complicated, but it's really not. It's really cool and it's really fun and um, Let's begin. So, first pod, move this back a little. I'm gonna have Lily mixing the wet ingredients. Okay, here, baby doll. And again, everything you need, it's gonna be in the description box, nice and easy. I'm gonna put some milk in there. All the, um, the quantities are in the description box, so it just, this is just for you to follow along. Then she's gonna add in the butter. Here, use this to scoop it out. Okie doke. Now she's gonna add in the egg yolk, one egg yolk. Scoop it all out. And I'm gonna add in my vanilla because if I let her, she'll put the entire vanilla in. I'm gonna put like give me this. Let's get all of that me. egg yolk out. Hold that. And I'm gonna just put a tat uh tat. Attach! <laughs> I, I, oh! I was gonna say a touch and a dash. Attach! <laughs> Attach a vanilla! <laughs> Oh, oh, Timmy, Timmy. There's King. King's in. Showing his puppy face. He makes everyone happy. I know. I there. know. A tash of vanilla. He wants me to this whole <laughs> Yep, start mixing it up. While she's mixing this up, I am going to do our egg whites. Uh, the secret to the fluffiness in the Japanese pancakes are the egg whites that are going to be beaten to a meringue. So egg whites, and if you have cream of tartar, you can use cream of tartar. For some reason, I cannot find mine right now. If you do not have cream of tartar, which maybe many people don't have, you can use um, lime juice, lemon juice, or white vinegar. And that's just to help um, give it nice peaks when you're beating the egg whites. So I'm gonna use quarter teaspoon. I don't know what you just said. Leave the egg whites alone, you're gonna beat it. And uh, we're gonna use a hand mixer and try to put it, I don't know if you can see it, but anyway, it's a medium high. You don't wanna overbeat it.
I keep increasing the power on it as it gets thicker. Now the dry ingredients, we've got flour. I'm using confection sugar just because it's lighter than granulated sugar. And I've got a little bit of baking powder here. So baby, add all of these and just twirl it around. Then we'll add this. And don't, don't worry if it gets curdled, the butter. It's just when it combines with the milk since the milk was a little bit colder than uh, the butter. No biggie, we'll mix that all in. Yep, all of it. We need all of the baking powder. All right, start mixing. And in the meantime, while she mixes this together, I have my pan, which is a non-stick pan with a cover. You're gonna need the lid because that's what's gonna, the steam is gonna help it rise. So that's getting nice and heated. Okay, we just needed to get this nice and mixed. All the ingredients mixed together. Next, we are going to take our milk mixture and just pour it in. All of these in the sink for me please and we are just going to mix all of these together sounds complicated but it's really not it's just a couple different um, steps And you just beat it. If you've got the um, the the butter that congealed a little bit, just give it a quick mix, and it'll loosen it up. No big deal. There, that looks good. 
And for the last step of this part, we're going to divide our egg white mixture into thirds. And we're going to take one third and add it into our pancake mixture. The first, this, this third, you can just stir it in. So give it a quick little stir. Let everything get real nice and mixed in together. Now this half that's left, this is what we're gonna fold it in. You don't wanna mix, you don't wanna stir this half in because it's gonna be completely flat. So this is the half we're just gonna fold in into the flour mixture. Fold in nice and gently. This would be a special treat for a weekend breakfast. When I put it in the pan, I'm gonna use little molds. Just because I'm a baker, I've got little molds. If you don't have molds, it's no big deal. It might not come out as tall and fluffy, but um, they're really delicious. So just try it anyway. I'm just trying to get all of the egg whites mixed in without flattening it out too much. Almost there. Scrape the spoon out. Okie doke, I think we're good to go. What happened to my music? Oh, I don't know. I did. Alexa's being cranky. Okie doke. Now we go to our pan. So, first thing we're gonna do is take some butter. And this has been on on a medium heat. Get enough butter in there to coat the pan. Nice and sizzly, that's what we're looking for. Now here are the molds I'm talking about. I've got two of them. And if you don't have them, no problem. If you do happen to have them, I like to butter them and flour them just like a regular cake pan. But if you do not have them, all you're gonna do, you're gonna do exactly the same thing I'm doing. Instead of using the, the mold, you're just gonna stick it right into the pan. That's it. Try to put them right in the middle where the heat's gonna hit it directly. Use this later. And I'm gonna fill the molds up to halfway, which would probably be about half a cup if you're not using a mold. Half a cup of batter for each pancake. You can use an um, ice cream scoop, a cupcake scooper. Maybe 
show you a little bit more. There. Perfection. Okay, now that we've got this in here, I am gonna cover this up and it's gonna cook for five minutes on this side. So I will be back in five minutes. We will do our best. Move this one to the side. You know what? Let me put a little bit of butter on the bottom. That way this top part gets butter also. Okay, dog, here we go. There we go. Hey, that's the first one. Nice and brown. Leaked out a little bit. What are you going to do? Not perfect, right? What is perfect in life? I would love to know. And here goes a super flip for the other one. Okay, I'm gonna close this up and let it cook for another five minutes. And we'll be back. Alexa, timer, five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. Yay. Thank you, baby doll. Okay, guys. Now for the moment of truth. Cross your fingers. <laughs> Okie doke. I'm going to move the entire mold onto the plate. Can you see that there? Take the little pieces out, and here we go. Let's see how this turned out. Kind of hot yet. Oh my God. That's it. The universe is so on my side today. Look at that. a little bit extra batter in this one that's why it's taller if you really want to do a good job with these I do recommend you get the molds because if not they're just gonna be a little bit too blobby and you can find these on Amazon just um, round molds baking molds and there you go here you go Beautiful, beautiful, fluffy Japanese-style pancakes. So easy to make. I really hope you try them. Thank you. Mwah.
like and subscribe if you love something you see. See you next time.